CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello, my name's Manish. Hope you're sitting comfortably because it's time for a bedtime story. It's called My Amazing Dad and it's by Ross Collins. Snip and Max were playing a game of leapfrog when suddenly, whoosh! What was that? gasped Snip. That, smiled Max proudly, was my dad. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. What does your dad do, Snip? asked Max. Hmm, I don't really know, said Snip. He goes away in the morning and comes back at night, but everything in between is a mystery. Up ahead, they spotted Stripe. What does your dad do, Stripe? Snip asked. My dad's the best at hiding, grinned Stripe. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. Snip frowned. I'm not sure if my dad's any good at hiding. A bit later, they ran into Trunkle. Hey, Trunkle, said Max. What does your dad do? My dad can spray water higher than the tallest trees, gushed Trunkle. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. Snip fretted. I don't know if my dad could even blow bubbles. Next, they bumped into Beaky and Spot. What's going on? asked Snip. Our dads are having a race to see who's faster, giggled Beaky, flapping her wings with excitement. We're going to be just like them when we grow up, smiled Spot. Can your dad run fast, Snip? asked Beaky. I don't think so, said Snip. His legs are kind of stubby, suggested Max helpfully. As they headed back into the trees, they had a great booming noise. Boom! Boom! Bongo rolled out of the bushes. That's my dad, said Bongo proudly. He beats his chest louder than anyone. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. Does your dad have a chest, Snip? asked Max. Well, he's got a belly, mumbled Snip. Down by the river, they ran into Wallow. Hi, Wallow, sighed Snip. I guess your dad does something really amazing too. Well, said Wallow, he can stay underwater for ages without ever coming up for air. I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. Wow, gasped Max. I knew it, groaned Snip as they trudged back home. Everyone has a cooler dad than me. Chin up, Snippo, chirped Max. I'm sure your dad does something. But Snip wasn't so sure. Mom, cried Snip. If dad doesn't hide or spray water or run fast or beat his chest like a drum or hold his breath for ages, added Max, or hold his breath for ages, then what does he do all day long? Mom smiled her big toothy smile and wrapped her tail around Snip, just like she used to do when he was just an egg. Come with me, she said. So they walked downstream until they reached the high reeds. Slowly and quietly, Snip's mum parted the grass for Snip to see. What's Dad doing? asked Snip. Your dad, explained Mum, is the one who teaches everyone how to hide, run fast, and do all those special things they'll do when they grow up. Wow, Snip, said Max. Your dad is kind of amazing, shouted Snip, giving his dad a giant crocodile hug. Dad, asked Snip, beaming proudly, will you teach me how to do all that stuff too? His dad smiled. Sure, son. Let's start with some fishing. Hey, Dad, said Snip as they headed up river. I want to be just like you when I grow up. That story was called My Amazing Dad. All of the dads in that story were very special, weren't they? I'm glad that Snip found how special his dad was too. Why don't you find someone who's special to you and give them a big good night hug? I hope you have sweet dreams and I'll see you again soon. Night-night.